Okay, next one we have another one that's a line. We want to first do the same thing where we want to graph it and then see if there's a geometry formula that applies to that particular problem. We're graphing x plus 1, but we're only going between 0 and 2. So when we graph this one first, we want to start with the y-intercept that's at 1. And then your slope, since there's no number in front of the x, that would be 1 over 1. So we'll start with this. We're going to go up 1 over 1. Okay, so I tried to make this kind of bigger so you can see it. Okay, so we start here, go up 1 over 1 to here, up 1 over 1, we get to there. So here is your line, but we're only concerned with the area between 0 and 2. So technically, we just have this space right here, and this is the exact area that you want to find. It's only this shaded part right here. Now, there's a couple different ways you could do that. If you remember the area of a trapezoid formula, you could do that. But I think it's going to be easier if we break this up into two different areas. We're going to do the area of the triangle, and we'll do the area of the rectangle down below. So we're going to do area equals, basically we're going to do length times width, and then plus one-half base times the height. So we're going to do uh, area of a rectangle first, that's this part, and then we'll do the area of the triangle add them together, that will get me the total area. Okay, so first we'll do the rectangle part, that's going to be length is 2, the width is 1, so we do 2 times 1, and then for the triangle part, I have 1 half base times the height. Now the base is going to be this right here, this dotted line, that's a base of 2. Be careful, your height's not going to be 3, because remember the, the, the height of the triangle has to start where, wherever the base is, so your height's going to be 2 and not 3 for that one, so just got to be careful on this one. Now we're just going to add it all together. 2 plus uh, 2 is what you'll get here, so again our area is going to be uh, 4 square units. So now with that let's take a look at another one. Okay, so for our last problem we're going to do here has an absolute value. So we have to remember how to do absolute values. You first might want to rewrite this uh, and make it look like that because that puts it in a more familiar form with transformations that you might be familiar with. We're going to use transformations in order to graph this. So again, that's, this is the reason why you want to learn transformations in pre-calc is for problems such as this one where you can just make quick graphs without making tables. Now, of course, if you don't remember how it's graphed, you could always make a table and just put in numbers between negative 1 and 3. That would also work. Or if you have a graphing calculator, you could also do that as well. But we'll do this one by hand. So normally, the uh, absolute value graphs that look like these, they're normally start at 0, 0. And we're going to move it, because there's a minus 1, we've got to move it 1 to the right. And then same sign as this, we're going to move it up 2 units. So from here, we move over 1, up 2 units. This is going to be the starting point of the absolute value. So again, you always do opposite sign of the inside, same sign as the outside when you start this. This gives you the, the vertex. And then, because there's a minus sign, normally my V goes up, but the negative means that we're going to flip that and it's going to go down. So this always has uh, a slope of 1 on each side. So from here, I'm going to go down 1 over 1, make a dot here, down 1, 1 to the right. Again, we, we do that all by 1s because that's what the normal graph looks like. Go down, down 1 over, we get this, down 1 over 1. We're going to take it all the way down to the x-axis because then we'll know what the shade of region is going to be. And also this makes sense because it's between negative 1 and 3. That's exactly what you have here. You have a, a triangle, which we end up as a result. So here's the shaded region we'll put inside here. The shaded region is going to be between negative 1 and 3. And now we're just going to apply the triangle formula. Area equals 1 half base times the height. The base this time is going to be 4 and the height is going to be 2. We get an area of 4 square units and so now we've done this whole problem. Only, we got the exact area but we're just applying geometry formulas.